we're gonna do it right. This is the mother of all. Jeez. Yeah, the, the, just the, just that alone is the mother of all oil coolers. Can we get a size comparison? Yeah, surface area wise oh, wow. is 155 square inches of surface area, so it doubled that instantly. If we wanted to run just one of these, we'd have the same thermal capacity of cooling as two of those, and that doesn't come for free though. This is massive. This is going to be a challenge to fit in each of the corners, but that's why we got two of them. Uh, one on each side. So we have double the air cooling capacity for the oil system. We have the dry sump tanks, we have more oil, which is a give and take, that's a good thing, but there's no way that we're gonna overheat the oil at this point with these on here. And on top of that, the thing that Delta PAG has done, they make a unique fan. They take all the electronics that are normally built into the motor controller and all that, the PWM signal, all that is over here. As air comes through the front of this, there's more surface area to get through the fan. And that's gonna be more efficient no matter what. So I am very excited to try that and prove the theory. I hope my issue to, I tell you guys is that these are too much. I hope that that's the problem that we have. This is where the side coolers become really important is that we've got the PWR side coolers here for the, the radiator. They're gonna work really well, but I almost want to double stack these on one side, not use that and have a second radiator this size. Absolutely beautiful. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to fit this in here and every bit worth it. A little bit more about this fan is that it's rated on their website for 2100 CFM. That's it only tells part of the story because in this case, there's not much resistance in front of it but some fans do tend to fall off when you have, say, double stacked radiators or whatnot. And we'll, we'll learn more about that, but the, the current usage of this fan looks pretty promising. Uh, I do use the Spall ABL 321s. You can see the more of the surface area is taken up by the motor itself. I agree with the owner, John, that that makes sense, especially at speed, when you want the air to just get through here, but they've got all the turbulators in here. Got, this is really gonna be a, a, a guaranteed win for us cooling the oil. Joel had to open his mouth and ask, what's a turbulator? I'm regretting it already. Yeah, he, so uh, I think when I was about 18, no, no. what's the word turbulate sound like to you? T turbulence, tur tur right? Okay. Like, oh shit, shit got all yeah. messed up. Like my story is all like jumbled. Yeah. The way I talk is turbulated. Okay. Okay, yeah. you know that. Yeah. yeah. So when you turbulate things, you expose more of it. You can call it more of my lies, the more it, my story gets bad. So inside the oil cooler, if it's just one tube going straight through, that oil's not moving. And so the outer edges of the oil gets cold and the inner part slides through into your DMs. <laughs> so what the turbulators do is they basically cause it to have turbulence. And so then all the oil's swirling inside of there and then the oil gets closest to the surface area of the metal, gets cold.